Wanted to make a quick video today um, showing you this hydraulic shear I just got built a couple days ago. Uh, see if I can zoom out here. It's a 48 inch by quarter inch thick mild steel shear. Uh, went looking for one of these here the last couple two three months. Uh, the new ones are about twenty thousand uh, dollars, and a good used one can be six, eight, ten thousand dollars plus. You got shipping, and then you don't know if you know if it's any good, if it's been worn out, if it's been abused, that sort of thing. So I uh, figured up what it was going to cost to make this, and decided I was just going to build one myself and go that route so I at least have a brand new one when I got done. Uh, had to buy the top knife and the bottom knife there from a, a, pl a place called Federal Knife in Indiana. They sell shear blades so that was about the only thing that I couldn't fabricate myself other than you know some of these obvious parts. Uh, I put three uh, hydraulic cylinders on it instead of two just so it was a little bit heavier duty and for another hundred and twenty five bucks for an extra cylinder I didn't think that that was going to be all that much more expense just to just to make it work a little bit more smooth. Uh, adding that third cylinder to it does make it run a little bit slower than most of the other shears because there's a little bit more volume that the uh, the pump has to make in order to get it to move, but um, I'm I'm still pretty pretty satisfied with it. Um, even if it's taken like 10 or 15 seconds to to shear a four foot wide piece, it's still a heck of a lot faster than trying to cut it by hand, uh, cut it with the plasma, cut it with a hand torch, that sort of thing. I got my valve mounted on here on the side. I didn't go with the uh, any sort of a solenoid or electronic uh, valve where it's operated by a foot pedal. It's it's basically just a hand uh, one one uh, handle valve, kind of like what you'd find on a wood splitter. Uh, down here in the back, I put the built the tank. I don't know if you can see this too well. Tank, and then it goes through the hydraulic filter uh, pump, and then um, I have a five horse electric motor on there that's running 1800 RPM. Bought all the the components other than the knife blades through Surplus Center in Nebraska and then it's uh, wired up 480 three phase for the the electrical connection. Uh, there's my on off switch. Uh, I think it's weighing just under about 3,000 pounds after I got it completely finished. Uh, so it's it's pretty heavy to move around with the forklift. Uh, here's my my hold down. If you can see that for the holding the metal down, I didn't want to go through and add either uh, hydraulic cylinders at the top like some of the uh, some of the shears have. Uh, it just seemed like it was going to get more and more expensive and more and more complicated to do the same thing. Uh, let me turn it on here. Pretty quiet. Then if you watch the lever here, if you pull it forwards, you can see the shear knife going down over there. Then you push it back. And it goes up. I put a tray table on the back for the for the drop pieces. And right now, just as it's sitting, um, it's about 36 inches from the wall, so I could actually cut off a piece 36 inches, and I'm, it's not going to be in the way of anything. Um, and then if if I do decide that I want to cut four foot pieces of metal, uh, all I got to do is pick it up here by these two uh, eyelets I've got welded on the top with the forklift and I can move it back away from the wall about a foot or so. Um, here's a, just for a demo, 
Here's a piece of quarter inch aluminum scrap piece. Put a straight edge on the on the side here for squaring stuff up. And if you see there it goes in underneath. Then you just take this hand crank. It's on an acne screw and it screws down and, and clamps the metal in place. Then all you do is pull the handle. Catch it. Raise it back up. Come around back here. Here's the piece I just cut. Go take a look at that. Um, virtually no burr whatsoever on it with your fingers. I got my. Uh, let me shut this off because it's a little loud. Took a while to get the the two knives set as far as clearance. Uh, ended up going with about eight thousandths clearance between the the two blades, so it's it's pretty tight. Um, not having any sort of a burr on the back. Uh, I've cut three sixteenths plate with it already, and uh, still kind of breaking it in because it's pretty tight here in the guides where I water jet cut the slots in these uprights for the the treadle and the the upper receiver here to go up and down. It's it is pretty tight. Uh, got everything greased up. Just was going to run this for a week or so as is and then make sure I didn't have any final uh, adjustments I wanted to do to it. And if all works out then I was going to take it outside and get it cleaned up and painted. Thanks for watching.